I absolutely encourage athletes to to get involved and to take hold of their career. So you can you can get into sport and you can allow it to be this runaway train that you have absolutely no control over. But if when you're feeling out of control, then you feel useless. And so you don't feel powerful. You can't go into a race thinking that you're going to win when you feel that all these things are happening and you have absolutely no ability to to affect change or to make any difference. So you know, you go into a race and you can't be confident that, yeah, I'm going to go smash that record out of the water or anything else because, oh, well, maybe it doesn't even matter if I win. They probably won't select me anyway. I don't know how things are going to happen. If you, if you don't know the rules and you don't know that the processes are going to be fair and you're going to be treated right and that funding is going to come and that all the ducks are in a row, it's hard to feel confident in your situation and deliver your best performances. So I absolutely suggest to everybody to know what the rules are, to figure things out, know who to talk to, and get involved where you can and where it's appropriate for you. It's funny uh, that you asked that. I, I don't know if I had any aha moments, but I certainly had moments where I was uh, looking for opportunities and I didn't realize as I was going through those moments, I was developing my own leadership skills. So one of the advices I have for young athletes is that sport gives you an opportunity to develop your leadership skills whether it's on the field of play or some contribution back to the community, community or whether you're coaching, whether you're officiating, whether you're volunteering in tournaments, it gives you an opportunity to take on some leadership roles. And I didn't really realize how much I was evolving my leadership skills while I was in sport until I got that opportunity to be an executive director or to be the chef de mission or to be a department chair in the human mechanics faculty. And you can see the culmination of everything I had learned came together, whether it was interacting with people, bringing a team together, uh, whether it was uh, dealing with different personalities to help uh, achieve a certain goal or objective. So you really don't realize you're developing those skills as you're an athlete and uh, as a coach. And as you develop those skills, uh, you one time get an opportunity to apply it somewhere else. And so um, no aha moments, but certainly the entire scope was a developmental component. And I continue to evolve myself. Being in the roles I am right now, I'm continually learning from others, from athletes, from other coaches, from peers, from volunteers. So I don't know if you ever stop learning because it's just one of those things that's very natural for an athlete. I think athletes need to take leadership seriously, both uh, within their career and for whatever future career they're going to be have. Because I think if you think about leadership as an interaction with other people and uh, helping them help you get the things you need. So, um, for example, for me, it was me helping my coaches and helping my teammates give me the feedback and the push and the effort back towards me that I needed to draw out of myself the best performances I could. Uh, it was also me interacting with my federation and getting the rules the way we needed them to be so that it was a fair and open system so that you could qualify for a team, you could know what it took to make a team every year, whether it be a national team, world championship team, or an Olympic team, so that you weren't left feeling like your whole career was sitting on this runaway train. You know, like leadership took very different looks. So for me, Yes, there were leadership opportunities for me in how I dealt with various different people, various different organizations in making my career be what it was. And so for any athlete coming up, they need to realize that their, le their leadership abilities will manifest in very different ways, but they need to happen for them to reach their full potential.